morning, Patriots. Welcome back to Rex Pines TV. I'm Giselle Adam. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Wednesday, September 25th, 2024. Let's transition to Hadassah to learn about an important Hispanic figure. Thank you, Giselle. Hola, Patriots. Today in Hispanic Heritage, we'll be spotlighting Jennifer Lopez, best known by her nickname J-Lo. She is an American singer, songwriter, actress, dancer, and businesswoman. Lopez is best known as the most influential Latin entertainer of her time. She was also noted for her impact on popular culture, fashion, branding, and shifting beauty standards. JLo's net worth is estimated at $400 million. With everything she's done, I wonder what's coming next. Now let's go to Zarmel for today's lunch. Thank you, Hadassa. Hey, Patriots, today's tasty lunch is rotini with meat sauce, seasoned breadsticks, vegetarian hummus wrap, steamed corn, fresh broccoli, gratis salad, ranch dressing, pineapple tippet, and your tooth and milk. Tomorrow breakfast is apple frutal, lucky charms, graham crackers, fresh apples, and mixed fruit juice. Students, please keep in mind a lunch menu can change at any time and to always let your teachers know if you're going to be receiving lunch today. Bon appetit. Now let's head back with you. Thank you, Zarmel. That sounds divine. Patriots, make sure to spit out any gum that you have before entering the building. Let's keep our environment clean. Oh, and phones, make sure they're often in your bags at all times and wear only a school jacket or sweater. Beware, Patriots, because the end of the challenge is coming in fast. So just a reminder that K-4 through has to do 25 of Magic Math and Core 5 lessons for some waffles and dress down. And for through 8th, we'll have to do 25 of Magic Math and I Ready Reading for a Sunday party and dress down. Make sure to get the challenge done. Also, the top three users will also enjoy the fun. Get pumped because girls basketball tryouts will be next week, Tuesday, October 1st. To be qualified to try out, you must have a completed sports packet a pair of athletic shoes, and a 2.5 GPA or higher. Make sure to be at the gym at 3.45 to 5.30 p.m. I wish you luck! Guess what? Boys soccer tryouts are out and on the way. They will be held on Tuesday, October 1st. So keep in mind that to try out, you will need a completed sports packet, some athletic shoes, and a GPA that's 2.5 or higher. Don't forget to practice. I hope you get in! Patriots, the time has arrived. This evening is family night at BurgerFi. Keep in mind that the location has been changed to Burger Fry in Miramar. It will be from 2.30 to 9 p.m. So gather all your friends and family and let's go have a good time. K through second, you got this. The end of their map fluency test will be Friday the 27th. You've come so far. I believe in you. Score! Did you hear that? That was the sound of yesterday's game for girls volleyball and boys flag. Let's view the results with Noah. What's good, Patriots? Here's an exciting piece of volleyball. The gym was cold, but our girls were fired up. On Monday, our girls' volleyball team had a game against Hillel Academy. We fought hard with all our power, but sadly, we lost 0-2. We'll get them next time. Our next game is at Aventura School of Excellence. Also, our boy flag football came close and lost 26-27. Our best player was number four, Brian Soares. Patriots give our team good luck and get fired up for our next game. Thank you, Noah. I know we can do this. Together, we are Pines. Now let's view the weather charts with Camilo. Thank you, Giselle. Flamey days, Patriots. Today's weather is 86 degrees here tonight with scattered thunderstorms. Make sure to pack an umbrella. In other weather news, a hellish fire destroys homes in California. This fire got the name hellish when a woman declared that the sky was red and then it suddenly turned black in 90 minutes. This fire was one of the largest fires in South California, which forced many of the residents nearby to evacuate. Sadly, multiple of the residents' homes burnt down, but thankfully everyone made it to a safer location. What would you call this fire instead? Now let's switch our patients happy birthday with Catherine. Thank you, Camilo. Today's birthday boys and girls are Ishmael Sunabert, Joseph Garman, and Kehlani Centrone. Happy birthday, and let's go back to Giselle. Thank you, Catherine. Patriots, here are your past expectations. It represents present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the school's environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Congrats to Ms. Cavalita for getting the correct answer to yesterday's daily challenge, which was, how many cats do you need for a colony? The correct answer was three or more. Now for today's daily challenge. Daily challenge. 
What's your group of pandas called? Teachers, please send your answers to pines.renaissance at gmail.com before 9 a.m. in order for your answers to be reviewed. Everyone at RPTV would like to wish you all a wonderful Wednesday. Have a great day!